right, guys, what's up? It's Mr. Energy here. Today we are playing a game called We Become What We Behold. Now, the basic concept of this game is uh, explaining how the world shapes itself. So, basically, um, someone wears a cool hat. You see someone taking a picture of that, and you get the idea, oh, that's a great idea to wear that type of hat. Also, the same type of things happen is when people, uh, like, type of violence really explodes. There's, like, one violent thing, and everyone thinks that everyone hates each other, and that, that's where this comes down to. So, we're going to get into here and see what happens. We become what we behold. We shape our tools, then our tools shape us. So, as I said, like a phone. Um, now we're all on a phone, but... Point and click. So basically, we need to find something different. Boom. Oh, nice hack. Nice hat. All right, give me one second. I need to make sure that. All right. Sorry, my audio is way down. All right, so um, there's two lovers. Um, let's see here. Boom. Gross. Go get a room. <laughs> oh, we just embarrassed you too. I'm sorry. What's this guy doing? Um. Let's see here. Never mind. Hats aren't cool anymore. Oh. I get it. Okay. Oh, I just missed it. I know, I know, I just missed it. I just, I totally get this. <laughs> Crazy square attacks. <laughs> okay, um. You also catch who they're scared by. Ah, I see. Let's see if I can't find that crazy guy again. This guy. Oh. I had the hat guy. Never mind, hats aren't cool anymore. Does this mean everyone's gonna stop wearing hats? Okay, everybody has officially stopped wearing hats. Okay, I feel like this is gonna turn into a mess real quick if I let it. Boom. Just some normal people. Okay. Um. Doing something interesting, gotcha. I'm trying to figure out how to Oh, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Circle fears squares. <laughs> oh, okay. Squares snub circles. Oh, I get this. So anger involves more anger. <laughs> what are these nerds doing now? Come on, I thought that was kind of good. This guy's angry at life. Who tunes in to watch people get along? True, true. You absolutely never see people happy on the news. Peace is boring. Violence goes viral. Okay, I'm understanding this now. Now I gotta get this to turn into a mess. Missed it. Dang it. Circles hate squares. Oh, this is racism. Gotcha. Square attack. Squares hate circles. And yet this weird nerd just kind of bouncing around. Every story needs a conflict, so... Okay, so... 
A lot of angry people. So let's see if I can get the squares to turn on each other or the circles to turn on each other. Squares hate circles. Everyone already knows this. But this is going to turn into a fight. And this is going on. What I just missed. Okay. Try this again. Uh, I'm so close. Let's see here. Almost everyone hates everyone. Everyone actually hates everyone. Give the audience what they want. What, is everyone just anger? Okay, hat people are murderers. Be scared, be angry. Okay, this is happening. Be scared, be angry. Okay, so this is going to turn out to all out war between each other. Be scared, be angry. So, this is going to turn to that. Okay. each other right now and I guess this is just explaining the world right now happiness isn't really something we focus on which is something that really needs to be focused on more um a lot of people I, I know this is like a little bit too deep for me because I'm not normally a deep person but like it makes a very good point. It's like, you know, when you when you see something in the news, everyone freaks out when it's something big. Like, uh, well, there's a ton of things that go on. I mean, like racism, you'll see one person fight with another person and boom. Oh, look at this. There you go. Okay. As humans, we don't like to see peace. I don't know why. It's not interesting, I guess. It's like, oh, well, these people are getting along. What's so special about that? But in reality, we don't document peace. We don't document, you know, how great life is. We only document the bad stuff. Media is really bad at saying, oh, this happened. But they don't ever really explain the whole story. And that's one of the things that's one of the biggest issues, personally, that I think in in, uh, in anywhere, really, in America, in, in Europe, in, in Australia, anywhere. Everyone sees one thing and they think it's a big deal because one place, one picture may have been misunderstood. One person decided to write a blog about how this is going on and when they don't know for sure, and then boom. There you go. There, there's a mess. So um, this is really something to think about. Uh, definitely something that... <laughs> You know, after thinking about it a little bit, it really, it really makes a lot more sense. Um, at first, I didn't, I wasn't a hundred percent sure what they were meaning. I was thinking they meant more like, oh, well, this guy's got cool hats, so then everyone's got cool hats. But in reality, it what it really came down to is it isn't just fashion. It's it's people turning something into something it's not, and then boom, it's a mess. And it can end very well in in violence if we don't keep our photos and our blogs and everything else in check. So if you do see anything that, you know, seems kind of suspicious, uh, it doesn't really make any sense, like someone attacking someone else from somewhere. Uh, Ebola was a huge deal. Ebola's been around for 15 plus years over in Africa. And one random day, someone in America got it. And it's the biggest thing on earth. Um, and reality is, is it is a big deal in, in Africa. It still is. 
but we freaked out because it because one person got it and then two people got it and then I think four people got I don't even remember how many people ended up with it. We had it cured in a couple of days here uh, because we are uh, so well advanced and that really makes you realize what what we do with our pictures, what we do with our blogs. We, we read something, something sounds bad, like guns. Everyone thinks guns are terrible. In reality, guns are, are just a tool. It's how you use them. Same thing goes with computers. Same thing goes with a lot of things. And I know this is a lot of rambling. I don't really like to ramble so much, but I think it needs to be said because a lot of people take things and they, they see it and they go, oh, that's how everyone thinks now. And the reality is, is that's not how everyone thinks. That's what one person understood by seeing either a photo or a video. I mean, if you saw me kick a baby, it could be a doll. It could be us having fun and I accidentally trip and fell and kicked a baby. Next thing you know, everyone thinks I hate a baby or I hate all babies. Next thing you know, all men hate babies. And then if all men hate babies, then women are going to go against men and, and this whole mess is going to turn out. And and that's not what we need. That's it's just a lot of ramble, a lot of ramble that I need to <laughs> stop on. But something to keep a very good idea about before you run out there and try to just start a fight over something that you don't know for sure. And even the person who wrote the blog may not know for sure. So definitely think before you do. Read more than one source don't don't just assume things and even if a lot of people are assuming things don't freak out just relax don't riot and uh have a good day have a good life you know life is about having fun if you don't have fun what's the point of living it anyways i will see you in the next one make sure to leave a double ones up down below sorry about the ramble i uh i don't normally ramble about that type of stuff but this one kind of needed, needed to be said so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.